Welcome to Whiteboard Programming, where we make programming simple for you with easy to understand whiteboard videos. And today we'll talk about five fundamental concepts of programming language. If you can figure out how these five concepts work, you are most of the way to be able to learn a new language. So let's get started. Number one, variables. By definition, a variable is a symbolic name or reference to some kind of information. This is similar to how a term is used in maths. For example, if we are using only positive integers, then a plus b is always greater than a. In this scenario, a and b are both variables. In computer programming, variables allow code to operate for any value being represented by variables. But they can be more than just symbolic letters. Variables can have a number of different properties in computer's memory, such as name, type, scope, lifetime, and location and different programming languages call for variables differently, but they all use this component. Number two, conditional statements. By definition, conditional statements are expression that ask the program to determine if a variable is true or false. You may also call it Boolean values. Typically, if a statement is true, the program should perform one action, for example, action one. If the statement is false, the program should perform a different action, let's say action two. These actions are called conditions, Number three, looping and iterations. An iteration is any time a program repeats a process or sequence. Loops are common type of iterations in which a program performs a certain action for an infinite number of times until a new condition is met. These are frequently called as while loops because they often express that while a certain condition is true, the program should continue to do a certain action until that condition is false or a new condition is true. Loops also make it possible for programs to do something else while a given process is running. Number four, data types and data structures. Data types help classify what information a variable can hold and what can be done with it. Data types include numbers, booleans, characters, and strings. On the other hand, data structure is a storage format that enables efficient access and modification of data. Data structures include arrays or lists, hashes, dictionaries, and objects. Since computer programs can't tell the difference between data inputs that read 1, 2, 3, 4, and data inputs that read A, B, C, D, they need to know the data type in order to differentiate between the two. Meanwhile, a data structure is also a data type, but one that contains an unlimited number of named subcategories. In this way, a program can parse individual data types while still treating the entire structure as one data type. Number five, functions. Functions are self-contained modules of code that accomplish a particular task. Once a function is written, it can be called and used again and again. They operate like a black box. Data goes in, function operates on the data, and process data comes out. They also let you reuse the code rather than constantly rewriting it and allowing you to think about your program as a series of sub steps. Recognizing these five concepts in a computer language will help you kickstart your lessons into programming. With that, I hope this video was helpful to you and delivered value. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for future updates.